This is a low poly model of a handguard with baked normal maps and ambient occlusion. It has 9,948 triangles. And this is another low poly handguard. Both bake perfectly, absolutely the same quality, but the second one has 500 triangles fewer than the first. And no, these are not wasted or hidden vertices. It's a simple trick that all experienced artists use. We can call it split geometry. But here's the problem. Look at the raw bake, without any tweaks. We can see that in the areas where the geometry connects, some unpleasant artifacts appear. First of all, it doesn't look good. And secondly, generators in Substance Painter may not work correctly, and you'll have to spend extra time to paint over them. But the good news is that this is easy to fix on low poly stage. All right. Let's go ahead and start optimizing the first mesh. The idea of this method is to detach geometry that is stitched perpendicularly to a surface. Carefully select all the teeth on our handguard. Detach them from the surface they are connected to. This works very well with cylinders and any geometry that is attached to a flat surface. After we detach all the teeth, we can delete all unnecessary polygons and close everything with a single plane. Geometry optimization is crucial for creating game assets. In the era of Nanite and powerful PCs, it may seem like heavy optimization is not as important as it was 5 to 10 years ago. But trust me, it's still extremely important. Sometimes even top-tier projects have strict poly budgets, and saving 500 triangles can be very significant. In any case, those 500 triangles can be spent somewhere else in the asset. For weapons, for example, you can model bolts or improve the silhouette. Also clean up the extra edges that no longer support anything. Now we weld the vertices. We need to redistribute the vertices so that we don't create long, thin triangles. They can cause baking artifacts. Okay, moving forward. I also finished the UV, but I will cover this in detail in the next videos. Moving on to baking. We combine all the teeth into one mesh, and the rest of the geometry into the second one. Both will bake from the same high poly. Duplicate the high poly and rename it to match the low poly, using the underscore high suffix. After setting up the baked maps, we can see the same artifacts I showed at the beginning. Now we will fix it. In our case, we will slightly scale each tooth along its own axis. Separate the teeth into individual objects. In Maya, open the Scale tool and in Axis Orientation, choose Object. And start scaling them slightly so they cover the artifact. Sometimes that's not enough. In Marmoset, using Skew, you may need to adjust normals to be perpendicular to the surface. Okay, I think we already finished. In the next videos, I'll dive deeper into texel density and UV optimization. Stay tuned.